Six seven news on your side is tracking a disturbing trend in the DMV. People using invalid disabled parking permits to obtain free parking. Well, new tonight, seven news I team reporter Scott Taylor says that many are getting away with it because enforcement just isn't happening. Oh, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. It's right there, and it was actually expired in 2018. We don't know their names. Okay, it's not invalid. Um, according to okay, the state whatever. of the I don't know Can what you tell me about. why? We have a pretty good idea why these Montgomery okay, County Metro all workers all are slamming their doors, not answering our questions. It's all about these disabled parking permits. Every workday, dozens of vehicles park at these meter spots along Marinelli Road in Bethesda, Maryland. Many of the drivers work at that huge Metro bus garage. They park right out front for two blocks. The IT discovered a lot of the disabled parking permits hanging from the driver's rearview mirrors should no longer be used. In fact, they were recalled years ago. We checked placards of around 30 cars with the Department of Motor Vehicles in Maryland and D.C. Turns out more than a third are invalid. I'm a little fired up. Like millions of Americans, Rebecca Coakley has a legitimate need for a special parking permit and legally uses one every day. It's continually frustrating to me that my ancestors with disabilities fought so hard for our rights to then have non-disabled people perpetuate fraud and the end result is typically a case where the system then makes it harder on us. There are more than a million active disabled parking placards in the DMV. They're issued after filling out an application and having a doctor certify the disability. The I-Team has discovered there could be thousands of invalid parking placards being used right now by people looking to park for free, like this driver. Uh, first of all, I can't talk to the media, and second of all, that's not even my view. We spotted him getting in and out of his Escalade more than once. When cards become invalid, new ones are sent out. State law says you have to destroy or return the old ones. Over a two-year period from 2018 to 2019, more than half a million placards in Maryland were recalled and replaced with new permanent ones. The problem? There's no way of knowing if the old placards are actually destroyed. Is there any policy at all in place right now or not? And so when we communicate to people what to do with expired products under normal circumstances, same thing applies with a, a handicap placard. Enforcement is a big issue. While there is a database of active placards, we only saw meter readers issue citations when drivers didn't feed the meter. None of the cars with invalid placards were checked or cited. Can you tell me it's right? It's right there. It actually should be thrown away or given back to the state. The abuse is so bad, county officials in Arlington got so fed up with bogus placards, they decided that everyone should pay, including the disabled. Scott Taylor, 7 News. Now, there is a database that's offered by the state that allows police officers to check if you have a valid permit, but Montgomery County parking enforcement officers who actually write parking tickets don't have access to that computer system. Scott's story continues right now on WJLA.com. That's where he's learned that WMATA's Office of Inspector General is now investigating the alleged unlawful use of disabled parking permits by Metro employees.